I got a question. Yeah. Pancakes, waffles, or French toast? I like that. Um, I'm gonna actually go with French toast. French toast. Yeah. I prefer pancakes, but if it's a Waffle House waffle, it's free advertisement, I guess. Um, I will take that. Okay. French toast we have here is actually really delicious here in the facility, so it just depends. It just depends. Okay, your, your question. Okay, my turn. I'm going to say um, on the barbecue, hot dogs, hamburgers, steak. A good cheeseburger. Yeah, I'm gonna do cheeseburger. I think steak is more for like a. Actually, no, you can do cookout steaks. I'd rather like sit down like wine and restaurant steak. But I think cookout on a grill. I think a good cheeseburger, for me personally, not hot dog. What do you put on your cheeseburger? Um, lettuce, tomato. Um, maybe some. If someone has like a sauce, I'll try a, a, someone's new sauce or whatever. Preferably like fries or sweet potato fries on the side. Yeah. Sweet potato fries, that's a that's a bold move. I love sweet potato fries. I like the sweet potato I, fries. I buy them at Publix. I'll get the frozen version of that, not regular French fries. I mean, I'll do regular French fries. No shade to regular French fries, but sweet potato, they, be, they hit. Yeah, I like them. I got a question for you. Are you a reader? Uh, I read. Some, I'm not like a avid reader. I'm not like J.K. Rowling, but like okay. I'll read. Like, what's the best book you've read lately? Are you, like, in a book club? Uh, the best book I've read recently? Okay, uh, the Bible. Um, what other books? No, probably the, the Bible. Yeah, read the Bible. I don't, I don't know. I, yeah, I mean, it, we all need to read the Bible. I'm just being honest. But um, other books? I've read uh, A Purpose Driven Life. Um, I'm trying to pick actual books I read, not like sound, like, uh, you know, um, are you like nonfiction, sports fiction, any of that? Or you stay away from sports, autobiographies? Some, some, I don't really try to stay away from sports. I like things that have to do with mindset and like how people think. So if like the art of war would be another book, um, things that kind of get you going, get me going for a competitive I guess aspect, um, reading some of the things that like Kobe Bryant would put out in his books and things like that. So finding out how other great athletes compete mindset wise, and then you get in that mindset. I'm big. I'm a big YouTuber too, yeah. and not like um, not like blogging you know, or vlogging or whatever. Which is you know if you do that, that's your thing, cool. But um, like I get in the wormhole of like finding a video and then going to the next video and then maybe going to look up what that person was talking about to see. Yes. Okay. How about uh, last one? And then I do want to ask you about your new locker mate. Um, recipes. Do you cook? Do you go down Instagram reel like rabbit holes? I personally do not. I know how to whip up some things, but I'm not a cook. Okay. Um, What's the best thing you can cook? The best thing I can cook? Uh, Probably like, like cereal. Good like a mean cereal. Yeah, like a good okay. cereal. Okay. Um, maybe like a small breakfast, like eggs, salt and pepper on the eggs, toast. Eggs are eggs are in a like if you can't make scrambled eggs good, yeah. and that's a problem. We should be worried about you for sure. Maybe some toast, like an English muffin, toasted. But one of my favorite recipes that my mom makes, um, she does, she does this uh, shells pasta, yeah. like a stuffed shells, yeah. which is really good. She does a white wine sauce with um, bow tie, white wine sauce, sauce bow tie, chicken, maybe some asparagus. Uh, I'm a big pasta person. I love pasta. My ultimate favorite dish is um, like a chicken parm, chicken parmesan. Yep with the marinara sauce on top of fettuccine alfredo. Oh, I love that. With the white sauce? Yes. yes. There's a place up in Ithaca where I went to school. They That's do that. It's my favorite yeah. dish. Like, I want both sauces colliding. Fettuccine alfredo, salad to start, and then you can do either a white wine with that or you can do a red wine. Like, it doesn't matter for me. Like, I'm good with, with whatever. Yeah. All right. Since I know our time is short, one last one. 
Tell me a little bit about your locker mate, having Seth. I know obviously Chris was your buddy yeah. last year. What's oh, Seth yeah, been like? I remember that. That's how we, we first came up with the fireside chat, because of you, me, and Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, shout out Chris Manhurts. I hope he's doing well. Um, I don't know if I'm able to break the news about him having twins. Oh, wow. I think maybe. I don't, I don't know if they posted that on IG yet. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. But, hey, I don't know. Uh, forget I said that. Uh, Seth has been phenomenal. Um, he's a great friend. Uh, he's funny. He's charismatic. Um, I've seen the progression of his work translate from like, how can I say this? Right, trying to be as, as real as possible. Not just showing up and doing what you think is good, but going above and beyond. And he's really been able to take the next steps and taking pride in his work and saying, you know what, I'm going to take this next step, which I've seen in him, um, which has been tremendous growth. Um, he had a double move called for him in the game against Miami. And I thought he executed it perfectly. He went up and high pointed the ball. He's one of the true X's that I've seen um, on this team with phenomenal size, uh, underrated speed. I don't think people will see him as a person who's fast, but he has great speed to him. Um, he's big, he's strong, he's a great hands catcher. Um, so I really enjoy his game. I admire a lot of people's game, just like, you know, like books, you know, like, oh, I like this book. I see our players and players like that, like seeing what they do, seeing how are learning from each other. They're an author in their own sense of how they run their routes. So I definitely love Seth and um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad I'm on the same team as him. I'm glad you're the author of the Fireside Chat, a Zay Jones original. That was well written. I appreciate that. Thank you for having me.